What's good, people? Welcome back. All right, we got some good stuff that came in today. Like this intake manifold, short ram intake manifold from Germany. That's right, Germany. Man, I was searching for this for a long time. And the throttle body that was back ordered for basically three months. And a fuel rail that I'll show you in a little bit. And this is uh, our custom fabrication with my brother, Richard, that we are doing. And uh, I lost interest in this. All right. So if you guys don't want to do no custom intake manifolds, this is the way to go. For a 24 valve, direct bolt on, no custom stuff needed. Unless you're going to have to uh, tap over here for a vacuum. The same thing for the for the brake booster right here yeah this is not bad if you guys really want to get this intake manifold turboparts.ed that's where i got it for that's where i got it from now for the throttle body this is a bbk good quality high quality throttle body beautiful i think this is a 74 millimeter if i'm not mistaken I'm gonna have to uh, take it to the machine shop so they could uh, port match it with a intake manifold because it's uh, it's a no go as we can say. I'll show you guys right now. A little bit off, a little bit, well, pretty much. But still open and close. But yeah, we're gonna have to go to the machine shop so they could port match it. We need the flow, guys. We need the flow for the high Most horse. of you guys already know this, but the stock intake manifold has a O-rings around each runner for perfect sealment. And in this situation, we won't be able to use the O-rings. So I got a thermal intake manifold gasket from Poland, from uh, Krakow, Poland. Yeah. And... This cost me $50 with shipping. So the fitment is perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. I like it. So now I'm gonna take this intake manifold with the gasket. I'm gonna put it on the motor. We're gonna test fit it and see how it's gonna look. Hopefully everything is going to go well, with no surprises, with no surprises. No clearance. No clearance. I'm gonna have to grind that off. much we grind it off hopefully that's enough all right now let's put it back on
intake many is in without that gasket that i got from poland there was no way this would clear there was no way it was touching before and now it's not with the gasket on and this we had to grind that off because the idler pulley was touching the intake manifold now it's not now it's clear perfect what i need to do is uh grind a little bit of the alternator and that's it boom so now for the throttle body we got an issue uh we got this uh coolant line that goes straight and then does a 90 angle and goes to the radiator and now if i put this throttle body here uh we're blocking the coolant line okay now we need to figure this out what we're gonna do this might work maybe we'll see we're gonna have to, i'm gonna have to figure this out all right all right so i'm gonna be wrapping up for this video if you guys like what you see like share subscribe comment have any questions let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video